Hi there, welcome back. This is OpenStax chapter six, number 14. They didn't give us a whole lot in this problem and there's a lot of converting that's going on. So I already got it set up for you. Uh, they said there is a workshop grind stone and all we know about this is its radius and how fast it's spinning. But they gave us how fast it's spinning in revolutions per minute and I like to work everything in radians per second. So the first thing I did, um, they wanted us to get the acceleration of it, the centripetal acceleration. So there's a couple different formulas. There, you might find other ways to do it, but as long as you get the same answer, we're all set. The formula I used for centripetal acceleration was R omega squared. All right, in order to use that omega, I had to put it in radians per second. So the first thing I did, I took the 6,500 revolutions per minute that they gave me, converted that into radians per second. Now to do that, I had revolutions on top, so I knew I needed to put revolutions on the bottom. One revolution is two pi radians. I also needed to get rid of minutes. So since minutes is on the bottom over here, I multiplied it and I put minutes on top. So to convert that, I need to take 6,500 times my two pi radians divided by 60 seconds. And when I did, I got 680.7 radians per second. Well, they didn't want me to find that. I just had to find that in order to get the centripetal acceleration. So I'm gonna take that number for angular velocity and plug it in right here. To get centripetal acceleration, I took r omega squared. So I took the r that they gave me, 7.5 centimeters, and converted that into meters. I got 0.075 and multiplied it by omega squared. And that gave me a huge number. It was so big, I went back and double checked it. I thought, why is this number so big? And I was like, oh yeah, I took 680 and squared it. So I ended up with a centripetal acceleration of 34,750 meters per second squared. Now, in terms of acceleration due to gravity, that would be about 3,400 times the acceleration due to gravity, so there's a whole lot. Part B, we needed to find the linear speed, also known as the tangential speed, of a point on the edge. So to convert angular speed into linear speed, I said V is equal to R W. Well, I already found, I'm sorry, no W, omega. I already found omega, plug that in right there, multiply by the radius, and it turns out that the linear speed of a point on the edge is 51.0 meters per second. All right, well, that's how you do chapter six, number 14. I'll see you in the next one.